This Thanksgiving, a North Carolina family is truly grateful for a new chance at life for a husband and father. Yeah, over the summer, Matthew Moore became the first person in the U.S. to receive a new generation artificial heart designed to keep him alive until he could get a transplant. And CBS 17's Maggie Newland shows us that transplant happened just before Thanksgiving. The hospital may not sound like the perfect place to spend Thanksgiving, but it's exactly where the Moore family wants to be. He has been waiting and praying for this for this to come. Matthew Moore experienced heart failure in June. The condition so severe, his heart stopped multiple times. He spent months at Duke Hospital, where he became the first person in the country to receive a new generation artificial heart as part of a clinical trial. It actually functioned exactly how it was supposed to. But it wasn't meant to be permanent. It enabled Matthew to go home and spend time with his wife and son and get strong enough for a transplant. He actually got in better shape. And that was really critical. You know, the stronger you go into any big operation, the stronger you're going to come out. After about four months with the device, the Moors returned to Duke. We came in and it was almost like a family reunion. <laughs> and just days before Thanksgiving, doctors replaced the artificial heart with a donor heart. From here going forward, Thanksgiving is going to have a totally different meaning for us. After spending this holiday in the hospital, they hope to be home with their son well before Christmas. And we're going to be Enjoying that little boy. Thankful for the technology, the medical team, and especially the donor for giving them that chance. We will never be able to be to say thank you enough to the donor, to his family. Making the decision to be an organ donor is the most selfless act that anyone can do. And it's also selfless of the family in their time of grieving. One day we would love to be able to tell whoever that family is, you know, look at what you've provided. You've provided my husband. Hopefully years to come, um, you've provided our son with his daddy, um, and uh, I just, I can't, there will never be words. But there will always be gratitude. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.